how why should a groom decide between a bow tie or a necktie? I mean, is there, I was just so curious about that. That's a great question because I've been through so many eras of fashion where um, just maybe four or five years ago, the long tie was the, um, the norm. Standard, yeah. It, it, it just started on the runway of, you know, the Golden Globes, the Grammys, the ESPYs, you name it. Whatever's on Hollywood eventually is going to come into our fashion. And the long tie is what pretty much started taking us by storm. And being in the formal wear business, I'm like, long tie? What are you kidding me? I was against it, but I had no choice but to um, run with it because this, this is what the clients were asking. Now it's taken a whole turn. Mm -hmm. Now, now a crispy bow tie, um, whether it be a clip on or a real bow tie, has now been the uh, go-to tie. Because I always say, if you're getting married in a, um, say, um, a farm, a barn, um, you know, somewhere maybe out in Lancaster, Maybe we will do suits and long ties. You're getting married at a center city property with a beautiful ultra formal look. I would definitely do a bow tie. Let's keep the formality of your um, tux or suit in and up to date with the venue and how the girls are dressing. If the girls are in a T length dress, maybe the bow tie is an overkill. Maybe you should go with, you know. So oh. it, it also has to go with what the late, the, the bridesmaids will be wearing, like the, the. Sure, like, so the series of questions I'll ask the clients when they come in prior to coming in so I can get my creative side working before they come in would be, are they, uh, are the girls wearing to the floor? Are they off the shoulder? What is the formality of your wedding? You know, because the brides know exactly what formality they're looking for. If it's T length and not to the floor, I would think I didn't want to do an overkill on the groomsman or the groom.